going on, guys? We finally get to ride. Last weekend after Supercross, it rained all night, and all the tracks were closed on Sunday, regardless if it rained or not. Today is no different. It rained last night. There's a nice big cloud up over there. But right now, it's not raining. LACR is open, supposedly. So we're gonna go there and ride. Um, the only nice thing is today and tomorrow, they're doing Yamaha demos. So today we're gonna go ride some new Yamahas. I don't know how that's gonna go or how many laps we're gonna do or shoot, even if we'll get to ride all the bikes. But we're gonna go try. Finally gets to go to LACR. I haven't been at I haven't been to LACR all year, which sounds like a lot. It's only been a month or so, which actually that is kind of a lot. Um, but we've just been doing other things with with amateur supercross and with that one trans world race and all the other things we've done. We just haven't gotten a chance to go yet. So today's finally our chance. We're gonna take it. Weather's not the greatest. <laughs> it's kind of cold. It's a little wet, so the track may or may not be good. Who knows? But we're gonna go out and try it anyway. Have some fun as always. Have some fun as always and just see what happens. I mean, any, <laughs> any day on the bike is a good day. Until it's not, but we don't talk about that. So yeah, I'm gonna go meet up with Dane. Gonna get to the track. We're gonna do some motos, have some practice, have some fun, and maybe ride some new Yamahas. So we made it to the track, and waiting in the line. And apparently, this dude in line has been sitting there for about 15 minutes, apparently. I asked that's what Dane says, because Dane's right there. He's like, I kid you not, this guy's been here for like 15 minutes. Why? How long does it take you to give, you, give him $30, sign a paper, and then go? Unless he's buying other crap. I mean, he could be buying other crap, but... Like, this guy here and this foreigner's getting impatient. I'm sure these other two guys are getting impatient. I just got here, so... They're doing something. And legit, this guy doesn't even have a bike either. It's like no bike. Bike, 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 bikes, bikes. I got a bike. He doesn't have a bike. He's been here for how long? I don't know. I don't know what the issue was. But it's kind of annoying, actually. And we made it in! Dirt looks prime. Check that out. It rained a little bit last night, so the track's all nice and moist and moist, yeah. Let's see what today brings. I mean, ooh, that's a big rut. Where's this dude going? We're going around this dude. We're gonna go around him! Around him! <laughs> uh, see if I can back up here. Do it one handed, like. Try to take Dane's bike out. All right, let's do some riding. Check it out. Oh yeah, so it does a little double there, double there, comes here, does that.
Just got done riding all the Yamahas. I uh, started with the 250, and then I went to the 450, then I did the 252 stroke, and the 125. And it was pretty fun. Different for sure. They're all different than my bike. I'm pretty sure if I get on my bike now, it's gonna feel completely different again too, so. Woo, I'm tired though. I'm gonna make a separate video of me riding all the Yamahas and doing a little talk and review on them. Um, I'll link to that in the description of this video. Or you can hit the little button at the top. But man, they're actually kind of fun. And I'll do a whole review on it in that video. Whew. I guess now I'll go back around my bike. <laughs> the big question is, will I consider buying a Yamaha? And I don't know. I like I like the bike. I like all the bikes. They're nice, but I don't know. Yeah, go click and watch the video of the review reviews. There's four of them. I'll do a little talk and review on all of them. And I guess I'll go back out and ride my bike. <laughs> I'm just in here because it's quiet and it's not windy and it's not really cold in here. So, all right, I'm gonna do some more laps. Have some more fun. Whew. I'm tired. <laughs> I need to work out more. Besides it being a little cold and windy, 
Not half bad. Put in some laps. The track got super rough here at the end. My hands are cold and locking up because they're, you know, frozen. Pretty good though. I rode his bike and I don't know, it's just you weird. Time on it. I almost did. I almost did, but it's a little weird. I don't know, it was just kind of like, just something didn't feel right when I was riding it. But that's the way he likes it, and that's how his bike is, so. And now I'm on the way home, and. Uh, uh, gotta make a couple stops first, drop this puppy off, washer, and then get to go home and watch Supercross. That's tonight. It's probably the first time I've ever been here the whole day on a Saturday. I've been here like once a long time ago on a Saturday. It was the first time I actually had to go here all day on a Saturday. Which is kind of cool. Uh, I got to ride four new Yamahas, which was pretty fun. Again, you can see, watch that video a little bit later. I'll have that one posted and I'll do a little review on everything. And yeah, it's pretty good. That's the thing about riding the new bikes. It's like, oh shoot, now it makes my bike, being a 2013, feel a lot older than it is. It's like, well, man. Now the question is, because I'd love to keep the bike, but I mean, the question is, do I sell it and get a new one? You know? Or do I just hold on to it, and eventually save up enough money for a new one to keep both? And the real thing is, I don't really have much room to get a, another bike to keep this one, so. I don't know, good for thought, I guess. But anyways, if you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you guys wanna see more and follow along, whatever adventures I'm up to, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.